Good morning, Soy Creek. Today is Tuesday, November 15th. This is Jason with your morning announcements. Hello, I'm Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard. I need every student in Oakland County to listen and hear this message. And it's two pronged. It has two things I need you to think about. First, we need you to be part of helping us keep you safe. All of the police departments in Oakland County and the Sheriff's Office work together every day to keep you safe, and we're all on the same page. We will do anything and everything to keep you safe 24-7. But every student and teacher is probably in a position to see or hear something they think is of concern as it relates to a threat or their safety. You will probably be more likely to see or hear it than the police department. And so if you do, you need to share that information with your parents, with your teachers, so that it can be quickly and fully investigated. So that's the first message. If you hear or see something that makes you afraid or uneasy or threatens the safety and security of you or your school or anyone else, you need to share that information. Secondly, we have been inundated with threats all across this county. We need every student to understand if you make a threat, whether or not you intend to carry it out, it is a crime. Every threat will be investigated and every threat will be presented to the prosecutor. Every threat will be treated as the crime that it is and we will attempt to hold you fully accountable you more than likely will be immediately removed from school and potentially criminal charges may attach. So I repeat, any threat is a crime, whether or not you think it is a joke, because it is not a joke. It terrifies people, it causes great anxiety and fear. We want us all to get back to the situation where all you think about is going to school learning, and having a great day there. This community has been through far too much, real and otherwise, over the past months to ever accept this kind of behavior. So please share that message with any of your friends and take this message to heart on both fronts. If you see something, hear something, say something, and do not ever expect that a threat will be idle and not vigorously investigated or held accountable. Thank you and have a great upcoming holiday season. Math club meeting tomorrow in Mr. Thompson's room. See you there. This is the last week of the canned food drive, so please consider donating if you can. Here's a video with more information. Hi, who am I here with today? Donald Popovsky. If you could be any canned food, what would you be and why? Campbell's Chunky Clam Chowder. Why? It's the best. <laughs> Hi, who am I here with today? Mr. Book. Hi, buddy. If you could be any canned food, what would you be and why? Um, I would be uh, cream of mushroom soup because uh, there's a lot of people that hate me, but you put it in a casserole and dang, is it delicious. I love it. So you don't judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah. I would be beans because they're yummy, yummy in my tummy. Thank you. I'd be spam because I'm sizzly. Thank you. Are you going to donate cans to the canned food drive? Yes. Why is that? Because I want to help the Rochester neighborhood house and because you're making me. What? Any canned food, what would you be and why? Uh, chili because I'm spicy. I like it. Thank you. Chicken noodle soup because it's everybody's favorite. Like, I like it. I think SpaghettiOs because my kids really like SpaghettiOs and then they would uh, hang around me more. Good answer. Thank you. This is the last week you can donate cans to the canned food drive. Donate 20 cans to get a ticket to go to the Cider and Donut Breakfast during the second half of First Hour on November 17th. We are also selling pies and all three lunches on Friday, November 18th. So bring $5 and get a slice of pie. All proceeds go to Rochester Area Neighborhood House. You can bring in any non-perishable foods. It doesn't have to be cans.
Thank you for watching. Have a great day, Stony Creek.